Okay, this is kind of a cool pattern. It's kind of a mix between a dry fly, an emerger, a soft hackle, and a foam thinger. Um, it's a pattern designed by Don Bastion, and it's it's uh, put out by Orvis and Fulling Mill. So I was checking it out the other day and thought that it was a pretty sweet pattern. So kudos to you, Mr. Don Bastion. I'm going to start with just a normal dry fly hook. This is either a TMCO 100 or a Daiichi 1180. I mixed them all up. I can't uh, tell them apart. So just a normal size 14 dry fly hook. So this fly is kind of designed um, to fish like the sparkle pupa or sparkle emerger by La Fontaine. So it's kind of along that same vein. Um, I'm going to first of all tie in some cream colored yarn, whether it's Zelon, Antron, Sparkling Merger yarn, any of, the, any of that kind of stuff. I'm going to tie that in roughly about the length of the hook shank, and then I'm going to taper it to make it look buggier. So it's supposed to look when it's when it's wet, just kind of like a, a clear shuck that the that the bug just came out of. And then the cool part about this one is, is it's got a foam shell back that will help with flotation. So I just cut a piece of Evazote that's roughly eighth inch by eighth inch. It's a kind of a square piece, and this is kind of an emerger-ish thing so we're gonna maybe mimic some air bubbles by making a rib of uh, opalescent tinsel and then I'm not sure what he does on his whether it's like Zelon twisted up for the body or what but I'm just gonna use some brown colored snowshoe rabbit foot dub um, in kind of like it's called brown but it's a really nice chocolatey brown I think they should rename it cocoa puffs but then all the stoners from Colorado will just hoard it no offense to the stoners in Colorado we love you guys all right so I'm just gonna dub the body over the top of this foam kind of loose and uh, buggy like that and then I'll just take the tinsel and wrap that forward not this not the cleanest of wraps on the tinsel there but hey I'm not Davy McPhail so expectations aren't there so now I'm going to take this foam and I'm going to pull it over and just kind of stretch it over the back. <clears throat> and I tied that down with several wraps because I don't want it to uh, come undone when I snip the front end of it. Alright, so our foam's in there. And now I'm going to take about half the amount that we used for the tail and I'm just going to tie in kind of like some little wings along the side of the fly, just really sparse. Just like that. And I'll cut those off about the length of the body. And again, I'm going to taper those down. And those are going to kind of go transparent and clear. They're just going to give the appearance of little nubs hanging off the fly. Now for this part, I'm going to add a soft hackle. So you can use dark brown or black, or you could even use uh, partridge if you wanted. But I'm going to find one that's a little bit longer than the, the piece of foam that we just tied in. And for up here, I'm going to create a ramp that goes down to the eye of the hook 
because if I don't, my hackle's gonna wanna jump forward way more than I want it to. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the skull wax here and I'm gonna wax up my thread. And this, when I wrap that wax thread on this tapered portion of the fly, it will create a grippier surface for that feather to ride on. So once I have the feather tied in there, I'm just gonna kind of pinch those fibers. If you roll the stem back and forth in your fingers like that, it'll, it'll pin all those fibers to one side like that. And I don't even need hackle pliers with this one. So I'm just going to do about one full turn, one and a half full turns, and then trim it off. So there's our hackle on the fly. And now for the head, it's really simple. I'm just gonna take some of this uh, same dubbing that I used for the, the body. And I've thought about it, like you could put an overwing of CDC or an overwing of a little tiny bit of ice dub on this. Um, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. Oh. Really simple. That's the beauty of the wax. Look at that. Boom. Not even unraveling. So, there you go. Best fly in the world with wax. Who's the heavy-handed Sam Squatch is tying this stupid piece of crap? Back to the normal programming. <laughs> Gosh. I swear you did that to sabotage me. Your fault. Okay, so I've got the dubbing wrapped on there. Create a neat little head. You know, I'm going to add a little bit more dubbing. So we'll tie that off and then I'm going to take the, the brush to the dubbing, brush it out a little bit. And there you go, a nice little uh, floating soft tackle, if you will.